The fire started at around 7 o'clock this morning when most of the residents were still asleep and some were on their way to church. Those who arrived at the scene first told NBC News team that the fire started in the Nam water yard from where it spread to the government buildings. They gutted government store supplies or government institutions in the northern regions with the materials for daily operations. It is where school books and other off stationeries, furniture and clothing items for government workers are being stored, as Miriam Masole, the chief administrator, explains. Mostly uh, section 12, 13 and 15 is totally destroyed. What is that section? Section 12 and 13 is having now shoes, that's now clothes, uniforms, this protecting clothes that people are wearing, uh, the government GRN, these ones that are always written GRN here, and the protecting shoes. Even the office is also touched. My, especially my office is um, destroyed. The mayor of Ondangwa town, Ronnie Nevonga, uh, yeah. was also at the scene to assist in fighting the fire. We will try our best at least uh, to bring this fire to stand still. There was nothing much to be said from the gutted blocks as the fire was burning fast, prompting the Ondangwa Town Council firefighters to call in their colleagues from the Ongwediva and Oshakati Town and the Namibia Airport Company firefighters for assistance. While no injury or loss of life was reported, smoke from the fire had major parts of the town covered in a dark cloud. For NBC News, I am Padron Nepembe at Ondangwa.